Hi Cancer, this is your October 21st through October 27th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads on this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life. Spread number two is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you this week. Then, in the, the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Then, though, we'll wrap things up with the fifth, the final spread, which will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, Comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first bet is a new love this week, uh, Cancer. We have uh, the Hangman, clarified by the King of Cups. Uh, then we have uh, the Chariot, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. My oh my, it's mostly water, mostly water, uh, Cancer, including this King of Cups all the way to your left. So you're, you're most likely dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Pisces perhaps in particular. But it could be any water sign. If you're not dealing with a water sign, this person is embracing the energy of the water sign. <laughs> Right. By the way, just let's talk about assumptions real quick. I assume the King of Cups all the way to your left is the person coming into your life, and I assume the Chariot is you. Okay, I assume that. All right. So the Chariot is your major Arcana card, by the way. So it's you either way. And uh, the King of Cups, clarifying the, the Hangman, is most likely the person entering your life. Uh, the Hangman, by the way, is a Pisces major Arcana card. Right? If you're dealing with a Pisces, I wouldn't be surprised. But if they're not a Pisces, then the hangman could be a card of like a revelation. Perhaps this person will have an epiphany about you. Perhaps you already met this person. Or they will have this epiphany after you've met them. Right? It's like a light bulb moment. It's also a card of a sacrifice, but I don't really see this person sacrificing anything. It's also a card of stagnation. So again, perhaps you already know this person, but they've been taking their sweet time. Right, and uh, this week they will finally make a move. They finally will. Okay, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck uh, is what's coming your way. I keep seeing the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck this week for some reason, not just for you. But uh, yeah, uh, the Ace, whenever we see a card on the bottom of the deck, it could be something that you don't see coming, something unexpected, right? So perhaps this is something that's going to be unexpected to you. Uh, cancer, right? Uh, but uh, the Ace of Cups is coming your way, yeah? We also have the Knight of Cups in the middle of the potential outcome, same energy, so it's like in the future it, this gift will keep on giving. <laughs> this person is very, very loving now and they will continue to be very loving um, 10, 20, 30 years into the future, hopefully. Anyway, the Chariot, the next card over from uh, from the the hangman, like I said, this is your major arcana card. And uh, to be honest with you, as I was clarifying the chariot card, I simply asked how will Cancer feel about the, about this whole ordeal. And the three of cups showed up. You will feel like celebrating. <laughs> you will feel like celebrating. It's a card of a celebration. It's a card of a union, right? Um, perhaps you two are going to some kind of an event. They may invite you to go to some kind of an event. By the way, we're, we're starting Scorpio birthday season. Perhaps this person is a Scorpio or they could invite you to go to a Scorpio birthday party together with them, right? Um, because with the Six of Swords clarified by the, nine, by the Nine of Cups, I think you're going somewhere. I think you are this week. If it's not a birthday party, if it's not this, if it's not that, you're, you're going somewhere together, perhaps, right? And uh, the thing about the Six of Swords, it always talks about things getting better. I don't know, even if you're doing very well right now, it's, it'll still get better. <laughs> the Nine of Cups clarifying it is a card of a wish come true. It could also be a card of an event, all right? Just similar to the Three of Cups, okay? Because in some... Uh, tarot, deck in the nine, tarot decks and the Nine of Cups, people are standing around celebrating or sitting around the table and enjoying a meal and also celebrating. Or with the Six of Swords, this is you guys simply moving forward. Uh, moving forward and not looking back. In the potential outcome, we have that Knight of Cups in the middle and it's sandwiched <laughs> in between two marriage cards, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So. I think it's not a matter of if, but when the two of you will get married. Um, and uh, this person is your perfect match, yeah. I, I don't see any other obstacles. If the hangman could be a card of stagnation, it could have been the card, it could, they could have been taking their time. But um, from this point on, it's going to be smooth sailing, 
all right and uh, it's like you're getting the best of both worlds with this person because the ten of pentacles is all about stability money in the bank having a um, roof over over your heads and the, the ten of cups is that is all about emotional fulfillment all right really happy for you cancer congratulations if you are already married or in a relationship, uh, Cancer, this part is for you. We have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups, the Lovers, uh, the Page of Pentacles, and uh, the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign. There is Leo Sagittarius, we also have Gemini, but you're most likely dealing with your significant other, whatever their zodiac sign is. And yes, this spread assumes you're already involved with somebody, right? Like in a serious relationship or married. So, <laughs> On that note, having said that, the Knight of Wands, the first card that came out, uh, it's passion. It's a spark of passion. I don't know if it's going to be planned or spontaneous, but I think it's a spark of passion, okay, between you two, okay? And uh, I mean it, that it's, I don't see any third parties, no, because we have the Two of Cups and the Lovers here, and I believe... Um, both the Two of Cups and the Lovers represent you and your person, right? Because you see we have two people in both of them, right? In the two of, there's two people in the Two of Cups and there are two people in the, in the Lovers. The Lovers could also be a card of a choice, by the way, okay? Um, the Emperor on the bottom of the deck is a husband figure, okay? The Emperor is a husband figure, spouse figure, um, figure of authority, uh, somebody taking control, somebody who is taking charge, somebody who is taking the initiative, all right, and the Page of Pentacles, the very last card that came out, you know, uh, I love the Page of Pentacles because it could be tangible, something tangible, something you can touch, right? And uh, like a piece of jewelry in a small box qualifies because it's something tangible you can touch. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles could be um, tickets to a game, to a show, tickets to get on a plane, and fly out somewhere, to, you know, tickets to get on the train. Uh, the Page of Pentacles could be literally paying for something. Maybe you're gonna get a hotel room and travel and have some good time together. Leave the kids with the with babysitter <laughs> or something like that. But uh, I, so let that Page of Pentacles be a surprise for you. Let me know in the comments down below if it's not too present, if it's not too um, personal or private. What that Page of Pentacles is. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent ex. For some of you, it's not even an ex. It's just somebody from your past. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have the Sun, and we have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Leo, Pisces, or absolutely any Zodiac sign. There's a couple of significant things that I want to share with you. Cancer when it comes to this particular reading. The moon and the sun in the same reading. Um, sometimes those two together can be referred to as yin and yang. Yin and yang. So perfect couple, if you ask me. Okay, that's one thing I wanted to uh, bring up. Another thing is that this spread is about some kind of a reveal. Somebody's going to reveal their feelings to you. Okay? And uh, another thing I want to <laughs> bring up to your attention is that Six of Cups in the middle, clarifying the Page of Cups. The thing about the Six of Cups, there's a few things, right? It is a soulmate card. It is a card of somebody from the past. But uh, the thing about the Six of Cups, it can be an ex, doesn't have to be. The Six of Cups could simply be somebody from your past, somebody who had a major, major, major crush on you back in the day. So perhaps this whole reveal is about them admitting that uh, they had a major crush on you back then and they still have feelings for you now, okay? The Ace of Swords could be the Ace of Truth. The Ace of, with the Ace of Swords, truth, the truth could be coming out. Somebody could be telling you the truth, right? And at the same time, the Sun could also be a card of uh, clarity. So somebody is going to, you know, tell you the truth and make sure you understand that uh, they're being honest with you okay yeah cancer one interesting reading right not that many cards but so many can be said about all of them together all right so I don't see any rejections <laughs> cancer I don't see any rejections 
Just keep that in mind. By, by the way, the sun is also the happiest card in the deck. And the moon is a card of a secret. Right? So, secret being is being revealed this week. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Cancer, this week. We have the Magician, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Fourth Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, Cancer, uh, you got an offer coming your way. And uh, if I were you, I would accept it and uh, run like you stole it. Okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> the Magician, the first card that came out, it could be the person coming your way, right? Or it could be... Um, somebody perceiving you as the magician and when it comes to work business and finances I often in, uh, interpret the magician as a card of somebody who is really really good at what they do it's also a card of manipulator <laughs> I'm not calling you a manipulator but perhaps somebody is gonna manipulate you a little bit a little bit just to get you interested hence all the aces right somebody's gonna try really really hard to get you on board right but I think even if they are exaggerating a little bit, it's really close to the truth, right? But I think they just really want you on board. I don't see them like um, trying to cheat you out of your money, um, no. But they could be exaggerating a little bit just to get you interested, okay? But uh, the two aces are here for a reason, right? It's not just one, it's two aces. The ace of wands is all about passion, and in this case, it's... It's passion about uh, some kind of a project or a job or, or what have you, a contract. And the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity. Okay. Um, the fourth Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is uh, a card of, I often refer to it as the savings account card. It's a, it could also be a card of somebody holding back, not opening up, but not in this case. No, no. I think this is, the fourth Pentacles in this case is somebody receiving money and holding on to it. Right, and running away like they stole it, <laughs> like I said in the beginning. This looks good. This is, this is legit. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, uh, Cancer. We have uh, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if this is directly or indirectly related to you. I don't know who is going to be doing this, but uh, here's what's happening. The person this spread is about this person is gonna make uh, it's like a, it almost feels like a, the last stand this person is gonna make a final decision to stand their ground to fight for something to defend something it's like either go either win or go home okay so I don't know if this is gonna be you or somebody you're dealing with if you're trying to get somebody to f talk somebody out of this they're not gonna listen to you they will continue uh, fighting for for their cause or something, right? Because the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands, this is somebody making a final decision, and this final decision has to do with that Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of an active defense. So the person in the Seven of Wands, they're on defense, but they're not waiting. They could be attack for they could be attacking first, or they're fighting off the competition. They're defending what they believe is right. They do, they're they defending their position, their vision, their way of doing things, right? It could be like an act of desperation, but this person is not giving up, right? The five of ones on the bottom of the deck is very similar to the seven of ones. It is a card of a fight, a conflict, competition, okay, Cancer? So just keep that in mind. So yeah, um, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.